Hello everyone and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 with the Jaguar DLC. This car here is a part of the story mode to progress and it's got quite a bit wrong with it. Belt tensioner, brake pads, cam gear, camshaft, idler roller, ignition coil, some bushings, the oil filter, serpentine belt, and two spark plugs and four parts that's not discovered. So what I think I'm going to do first off is go to the test track and see if we can figure out what else is oh there's no oil so I cannot perform this action okay fair enough um let's go ahead and put some oil in it first then interesting that it showed up like that um actually I don't know yeah Eh, yeah, let's go ahead. We'll put some oil in it, then we'll drain it. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. At least this way we can uh, see what's going on with it. Okay. There. Now. Now, let's see if it will uh, not move the car. Go to map. And then test track. Okay. Brake fluid missing. Oh my, oh my, oh my. So, it's missing all sorts of fluids. Uh, eh. That figures. How about power steering fluid? Does it have that? Eh, not much. Brake fluid is... Yeah. Okay, so what fluids is it we have to replace? Everything? Coolant, power steering, and brake. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and take out these. Matter of fact, I think I'm just going to start taking things apart. I was going to test drive it, but I really don't see a point in doing that right now. Uh, let's go ahead and empty out this one's fluid too. Drain tool. Go ahead and drain these out, and then we'll, we'll remember to put the fluid in uh, later. So, coolant. We need to drain tool. Go ahead and get this out. That was full. Pretty, pretty full. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop the hood. Raise it up. All the way up because maybe we can spot the different stuff underneath that's wrong. Let me go ahead and move this over here to car lift A. We're going to drain the fuel back out of it, or the oil, rather, back out of it. There we go. And move the equipment back to where it belongs. And then let's go into... Uh, let me see here. Examination mode. Let's look around and see. It says bushings. Okay, so these bushings right here are messed up. There's two bushings there that are shot. Both these rear bushings are shot. Okay, so I know what we're going to have to do on that end. Then there is, of course, the oil filter that's got to be replaced. Um, and then the rest of it might just be inside the engine. So let's go ahead get this oil filter off 85% we're gonna still replace it uh, might as well now let's start working on getting all of the tires and everything off because we're gonna have to replace these bushings and let's see here the bushings are nope not over here They are right here. So I'm going to have to take apart this. Go ahead and get these all out. Okay. Rubber bushing, 76 or 79. So, but that is the bushing. And then we've got to do the same thing over here. But first, we need to take the uh, wheel off. 
And it's looking like this one's going to have some brake issues. That is probably what the other problem is, because this, this looks terrible. Like, that brake disc looks rough. So, caliper, yeah, I'm going to need to replace that, because I think it says 81%. That pad is shot. This is shot. And now we need to get to this bushing, so let's take this apart. All right, so let's see how we're looking here with car status. Still two parts not discovered, but brake pads, we need three of them now. The brake test ventilated. And doesn't say anything about the uh, repair with parts of minimum condition, 81%. Yeah, so... Where's my inventory? Here it is. 81%. So, both these bushings aren't at 81, but neither is this. Or this. Or this, you know, the cylinder is, but the caliper isn't. So I'm beginning to think that maybe that's it, too. But we'll find out. I'm going to go ahead and get everything taken apart first. And then we'll look and see what all's going on. And it looks like these brake pads are in a pretty, pretty, pretty messed up state as well. I don't know about the caliper, but all right, let's get the brake pads off and let's get to where was that other bushing right here. Let's take this bushing out. That one's at 91. So hang on a second. Let me put that one back. Because obviously that one's okay. Which one did I just use? Cancel. Let's do that again. 83, 81, 80. Okay, yeah, we'll put this one back. Okay, so let me go into examination. Okay, so it's that bushing. Okay. Back up in here, turn it off exam mode. Come on. There we go. So it's this bushing that we need to take out. There we go. Now, let's see how everything looks on this side. Go ahead and take this tire off. Again, to think it's mainly just the brakes need to be redone as far as underneath here. This, this looks like these brake pads are pretty much shot too. Right? Oh yeah. Definitely. 18%. And it was... This bushing. Go into exam mode and make sure. I don't want to grab the wrong one again. Uh, and I was about to, but no. It's this one right here. Okay. There it is, right here. Take out this bushing. Okay, now. Let's see what all it says now. So, is that everything found? No. Part not discovered. So... But we do need plenty of brake pads. Let me let me just look at what we got going on here. Shopping list, uh, wrong inventory. So we need this rubber bushing, this brake pad. That's eighty-one percent. So let's go ahead and grab. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll grab this, this, this. Uh. Another brake pad, brake disc ventilated, another brake pad, and another rubber bushing, and we need another oil filter, so, is that 81%? Yeah, um, wonder if, let me look at the uh, state status of the tires here. No, 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 no. Don't don't sell it. Uh, let me just go ahead and separate one of these. 81, 81, 78, 77. So let me separate this one. Maybe this will tell us what's going on.
take it. Now let's uh, go back into part not discovered. Still saying part not discovered. So I'm willing to bet it's stuff that's under the hood. So let's go ahead and install these back the way it was. And I'm going to go ahead and order what we know for sure goes underneath. And then we'll drop it down and go from there. So let's go over here to computer, main shop, uh, open the shopping list. We do not need this. We don't, we don't need an ABS module, so delete that from the list. Do we, do we need five rubber bushings? No. There's no way. One, two, three, four. We needed four, not five. So, go ahead and bring up a uh, rubber bushing. Let's buy four. And then we'll get rid of that. So we need brake pads. We need three. Okay. Then open up the shopping list. Delete that. Brake disc ventilated. Yes. And then delete it and get the oil filter. Okay. And then we'll take care of that off the shopping list. There we go. Now let's go ahead and start putting everything back. So let's start with the oil filter. I'm believing that that's going to be another part, actually, right here that looks kind of sketchy. Uh, the alternator, that, it looks a bit sketchy, but I guess we'll see. Part mount. Let's go ahead and put this back on. Okay. Now we'll go over to here. Put this back on with good rubber bushings. There we go. Okay. Then let's put this back together. Break this ventilated back. Brake pads. And the caliper. And something I'm going to go ahead and check is I didn't really look too well at this. Oh yeah, see that's, that's the other problem then over here. So let's go ahead and remove this. Yep, and these brake pads, and this other brake that's ventilated. So that's all the parts then, isn't it? Uh, let me check. That should be it. Yes, that's it. So we need another, uh, one more brake pad and a brake disc ventilated. So let's see here. Clear search. Uh, let's just go with brake. There we go. We'll type in that. It is brake pad. And then we need a brake disc ventilator. There we go. That that should take care of everything. Then. So let's go back to symbol, part mount. And let's get this side put all the way back together. And then we're just going to have to go underneath the hood. And take care of the problems underneath there. There we go. Now, let's go back to this side. Part mount. Break this ventilated first. Whoops. There we go. Break pads. Caliper. That looks so much better than what you had on there. Then, this on. There we go. Do the same thing back here. Part mount. We need to put this bushing back. There we go. And then back over here, we need to put the pads and the caliper back. There we go. Tire back on. All right. Yeah, he was, he was rolling around with a bunch of different problems. Then we need to part mount. Brake pads. 
caliper. And then the wheel back on. Uh oh. Wait a minute, what did, what did I do? Did I do something stupid? What did I do? Oh, do I have to put on the bushing first? I might have accidentally sold the tire. Yeah, <laughs> I think I did. Really? No, it's right here. I need to balance it, don't I? That's what it is. Because I took it apart and then I didn't balance it. That Okay. Yep, that's exactly what it was. It needed to be balanced. I'm glad I figured that out before I just went and, and bought new stuff. At least I hope that's what it was. Whoops. Yep, that is exactly what the problem was. I just... Forgot to balance it. I'm glad I caught that. All right, so that is everything under the uh, under the car. So let's go ahead and lower it all the way back down, so that we can access the engine bays because we have got some stuff we're gonna have to do here. So the ignition coil was something that was messed up, wasn't it? Oh, well, it's one of them. Might just be that one. Well, it's just that one right there, right? So it just is it just the one ignition coil? Yes, just one. And then we need to get to the belt tensioner, cam gear, camshaft, idler roller, ignition coil. So yeah, let's get in here. So, let's take off the engine head. Okay. Shaft cap, camshaft. So, let's go ahead and get all these off. Okay. Now. Whoop. What am I? I've got to take this stuff off first, don't I? Yeah, I believe so. Let's go ahead and get the timing cover off. Or we got to take this off first. Come on now. We'll figure it out. Uh, take off the intake manifold, which I can't get to until I take off the throttle. I am probably going about this all wrong. It's been a while since I've played these games. Go ahead and take you off. There we go. Now. Timing cover still, aha, uh -huh. here, here we go. There we are, so here's the idler roller, that's what was shot. And then the serpentine belt. And then the crankshaft pulley. I don't know if we need to go this in depth, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Just to make sure, I can't remember what all we needed now. But we're going to go ahead and get right down in there and make sure. Oh, yes. Yeah, see? Yeah. We did need to come in here. So, belt tensioner comes off. Idler roller A is going to come off. Serpentine belt needs to come off. There we go. Then the cam gear needs to come off. And now... Still can't. Okay. Hang on a second. What is it that I'm missing? This. There we go. Get 
this off. And I'll take the camshaft out. There we go. So, let me look here. We got belt tensioner, cam gear, camshaft, idler roller A, one ignition coil. Still missing two rubber bushings. That right. And we need two spark plugs too. So, uh, see what I've got in my inventory here. So, got the camshaft. We need that. Cam gear, idle roller, serpentine belt, belt tensioner. Um, ignition coil. We still need a spark plug. So, trying to figure out which spark plug is. That's the fuel injector. Uh, turbo charger. Uh, where, oh, where? That's the fuel injector. So let's, let's go ahead and take this off. I'm going to end up doing 15 kinds of unnecessary things. I guarantee that because that's just me. But let's take this off and look. Trying to figure out spark. Oh, wait. There they are. Is that them right there? Go ahead and take this all the way off. But I think I just now spotted what I was looking for. Yeah, there we go. Spark plugs. 31. That one's okay. That one's shot. And that one's okay. So we do need the two spark plugs as well. So let's go ahead and two more rubber bushings. Apparently, no. No, we don't need those. I've got... I just forgot to put something back is what it is, I think. Ignition coil, um... Where, oh where. There it is. Spark plug. We need two of these. We'll make, I'll have to make sure that we got everything. Let's see here. So, camshaft. Buy that. Then remove it. Here. Move it. I the roller A. Okay. Serpentine. Uh, then we need a belt tensioner. Need ah, that's gonna be in a different section. Uh, I don't think we need it. I really don't. But I'm gonna save that there just in case. Spark plug, of course, it's not in here. Uh, that will probably be in the tuning shop. I had to guess. Yeah. Is there a different section to go to? Electronics, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Whoops. We needed two, so yeah, there we go. Whoops, go back in there. Come on. And then we need two spark plugs. Alright. Go ahead and get everything put back together over here. Alright, so spark plugs. Let's get them back in first of all. Come on. Come on. There we go. This one. Okay. Go ahead and put the uh, exhaust manifold back on. I had no reason to take this off, but I did. And then we will put the turbocharger back on. Okay. Now. Let's go ahead and get the camshaft back on, and then we will put the intake manifold back on as well. That was a bit excessive taking parts off, but hey. Being thorough, uh, cam gear. Okay. 
Uh, we'll put that back on in a moment. First, the idler roller. And then we need this belt back on. And then the belt tensioner. And then the timing cover. Now, we will see if all we have left is uh, those bushings. It should be. Okay, and then we need this other belt. And then we need to put the other idler roller back on. Okay. Go ahead and put the power steering reservoir back, because that's pointless to take off anyway, but oh well. And then what's missing over here is the throttle. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and put that back. Okay. Now, I think for the most part, I got everything back together. For the most part. We just still got to put some stuff back together in, inside the engine of the block. So, go ahead and put these camshaft caps back on. There we go. Number two. And the ignition coils needs to be back on. And I think that's it. I want to say that's everything. There we go. Ignition coil. Lap it on there. And then the last one. Okay, so. Let's back out. Let's look. Car status. We're still needing to replace one ignition coil and one spark plug. Okay. So one more ignition coil, two bushings, and a spark plug. Gotcha. Gotcha. So one more spark plug. And then, uh, needed the ignition coil. No, 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 no. No. Search. Ignition. Ignition coil. Boom. One more. Alright. So, let's go and get that taken care of real quick. So, which ignition coil was it? This one, maybe? Yes, it is this one. So, let's put this back. Wait. No, 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 no. I've done foobard. I've got to take this all off again. So, let's take these. I have to get the spark plugs. I reach them from here? I can. Okay, it's not that one, I don't think. I think it's one of these two over here. Matter of fact, let me use... Where's that one mode? Uh, examination mode. Alright, can I see? Well, I see the bushings. It's those two bushings right there that I need. Crap. I'm just gonna have to pull them out. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's... One of these two over here. That one was 84. Is this one. Okay. So, let's go ahead and slap these back in there. 100. 84. Alright, now let's get the ignition coils all back on. Oh, me. We're about done. Then I've just got to replace those two rubber bushings down there. Two more rubber bushings that needed to be replaced that I didn't get. And that's it. I believe. Right? Let's look at the car status. Yes, that is it. I just need two more rubber bushings. So let's go ahead. Raise the car back on up. Let's go into... Uh, it was... Where is that one rubber... Where are they? Right up here? Yes, this is them. So... Give me this rubber bushing that 84 that's not the right one is it is it huh now 
Now I'm confused. Oh, here it is. It's it's that one right there. It's those two, not the one I just took. Okay. I knew something didn't seem right about that. Okay, let's go back in here. Uh, let's put this bushing back. What did I do? Take this all apart? Bushing, bushing. Okay, yes. Let's get this back on there. Now. Maybe recheck here. Because, uh, I really don't want to take out the wrong bushings again. So, right here and here. Okay. Fair enough. Can I get to them through here? Yes, I can. Thank God. So, let's get this bushing. And this bushing. And did I already buy the new ones? I did not. So, let me go and get two more. They are in the car parts, so open the shopping list. Let's get rid of the ignition coil and spark plugs, but we do need two more rubber bushings. And go ahead and delete that on out. And then, I think all we've got to do is fluids. Wow, I am way, way, way back there. Let's park mount. All right, let's get these bushings back in. Then we just need to put the fluids in, and it is good to go. Only a few minor setbacks. Could have been a lot worse just sitting there just taking everything apart trying to find something. But I think for the most part we have got it. So let's lower it all the way down here. Alright. Undrop it all the way. Let's make sure. Our status. Yes, we have everything except we need to add fuel and add the other fluids. So, add oil, not fuel. Alright, go ahead and drop the oil in. Alright, should be getting there. That should be good. Let's check and make sure by checking the uh, oil level. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, the coolant reservoir. Let's take off the cap. Fill it on up. Coolant, windshield washer fluid, which is right next to this, power steering, and then the brakes. Alright, that's good. Windshield washer reservoir. Okay. Get this filled on up. Just about there, and good. Yeah, that's good. Alright, now we just need to put in the power steering fluid. And then what the last one is brake fluid. Alright, let's get this filled on up. There we go, that should be good. And then the brakes. There we go, brake fluid. We are just about finished with this one. This was a bigger order than the uh, other two combined, I think. <laughs> but all in all, not too bad. All right. Close the hood. Let's make double sure. Finish order. Other tasks. Everything's good to go. Let's hit finish. Cars are complete. There's a rubber bushing missing. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I gotta find that rubber cushion that's missing. Oh, did I even put them? Yeah, I put those ones back. Alright, let's see if I can figure out what pushing I'm missing. Oh god. Oh lord. This is gonna be harder. Or is it up front, maybe? Whoops, I'm getting all turned around. Is it up here? Uh, part mount. Um, <laughs> well, I really do not know. Let's see here. Oh, Lord. There it is. It's just pushing right up front. Okay. There we go. I finally got it. Oh, cough, cough, kitty cat. Cough, cough. 
Yes, yes, thank you for coughing up a hair hairball on while I'm recording. I appreciate it. Thank you. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. You okay? Cough, cough. All right, let's uh, lower the car back down. All right. Let's make sure that everything is good now. Is everything good? Is everything... <laughs> we happy? The timing cover is missing. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I am just messing everything up. This side. Yeah. All right. Come on. Boy, I'd be a terrible mechanic. I would send you back with half your car not even put together. Just, yeah, I replaced the parts, but... <laughs> I don't know if I put everything back on it that goes on it, but hey. I did what you wanted. There we go. Now we are finished. And before I take another one, let's go ahead and sell... Uh, What's, what's it doing? No, just sell part apart let's sell all this stuff get some money clear out our inventory i'm sure i could repair this stuff or do something with it later but eh, i'll just take the extra cash now let's open up our case and see what we got okay let's we'll pick this middle card xp we'll pick this first one and another one 21 in scrap eh, no barn no barn find all right, let's go ahead and look at what we got. Okay, here is another story order, and I think I'm just going to grab that. So, good morning. Hello, young man. Please help me. I set off on a ride, and my car stopped working. It just shut down suddenly. Fortunately, some good young men towed me to your workshop. If it weren't for them, I'd rather not get into it. Please see what you can do to get everything up and running again. I have no idea what could have happened. Usually, everything was working just fine after an eight-month break. Thanks for setting up a workshop here in the middle of nowhere. In the meantime, please allow me to use the restroom. I'll see you soon. Okay, so... Let's go ahead. We'll grab... Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab it. And we will work on this car the next time. On the next episode. So, you guys be safe. Have a good one. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe. Take it easy.